first day of uni, I'd just come in, country girl, two hours in town, and I was in my room, C16, and this guy walked past and I said, oh, who was that? And my neighbour said, no, you don't want to know him, that's Sibbo. Well, I did want to know him, and here we are, how many? 30, yeah, 31 one years. and a half years later. Yeah, yeah we're here, yeah, yeah, thanks to the Rezo. <laughs> yeah, it started a little. Yeah. Debbie used to, I used to get, go play Pearl with Debbie, and Debbie didn't realise till late, I used to get beaten all the time, and I didn't realise that uh, Debbie had a Pearl table at home, and that she, yeah, she was much better than she made out she was. Oh, it was good fun, yeah. so every afternoon we'd come back and we'd go over to the Pearl room and hang out and play Pearl and... Yeah, so we were at the pool room, or he was in my room in C16, teaching me rope tricks. Uh -huh. yeah. What were the rope tricks? Yeah, that's oh, what I a, always wondered. There was a magician <laughs> here, there was a magician here, uh, a professional, and I don't know what course he was doing, but uh, yeah, he taught us these tricks. Taught so, you uh, the tricks, yeah, yeah. and then you tried to teach me yeah, the then, rope tricks. Yeah, then we roped, yeah. roped, roped you in. Yeah. So it was a bit of a catch at our wedding. One of our rezo mates got up and said, well, look, guys, you know, you spent hours practising rope tricks. Yeah. Here's, here's a knot you can't undo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Met all these wonderful people, the things I remember, Rezo Sports Day, even the red jelly with the cream yeah. on top. I love the food. The food was Mrs. great. Mrs Gum yeah. Yeah. yeah, just um, the prank week, all of those sort of yeah. things that went on, discos, yeah, Indeed. everything. I didn't get into Rezo. I came here to drop off a girl I met on the train because I hadn't made, hadn't had a room for me. And I came, and all of a sudden they said, "Oh, we've got a vacancy." Where is someone? Yay! So I stayed, and it was just, it was lovely because there was only, you know, the four blocks, so we knew everybody's names. In those days, you would know everybody that was here, and um, so it was very, very personal. We didn't have the communications they have now, so you know, we didn't, we couldn't ring home all the time, you know, the phone still had the A and the B button and, you know. And first time yeah. away from home, sort of a yeah. lot of country towns, we all just look for that support. Mm, yeah. and but, you know, it's been really nice tonight because there's people that we knew then, but we, well, some of those scary boys, some of those scary <laughs> Italian boys, yes, <laughs> who now, oh, they're not so scary no, now, are they? No, we're not timid little 17-year-olds and feeling very vulnerable. <laughs> so it's nice, but they were pretty, you know, it was great. Cool I didn't on. even, you know, lots of drinking, yes, lots of partying. partying. And Lots of uh, studying when we had to. Yeah. Oh, I don't remember that bit. <laughs> um, we were here from 2005 to 2007. Um, memories. We Lots of memories. <laughs> we Many. were here when um, the birdie was open, so the birdcage bar, but we were also here when it closed down, so that was a little bit sad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a bit of a death in the family <laughs> experience. <laughs> <laughs> um, What's in Oh, hat parties in Nads. This is Nads. <laughs> hat parties in the Dean's room are a special memory when we just sort What's of a hat party? just bring out your novelty hat. And not, drinking, not drinking. Oh and yeah, yeah. Drinking oh, that, quite novelty yeah. Hat. And yeah, just fit as many people as you can in one little room and have a party. And of course, lots of um, themed parties down at Scholars. That was always really fun. Yeah. 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 We didn't leave very long ago, but it was a good like it was a good reason just to catch up with everyone again. A good meeting place. So. Mm. And what are you two doing now, just, just out of interest? Um, I'm in Brizzy now. I'm working for the Department of Communities as a HR graduate. Um, and I'm in Townsville teaching at high school. I, I was here from uh, 1997 through to 1999. Okay. And I suppose uh, what I remember most is the, uh, the office ladies. Absolutely beautiful, all of them. They're very beautiful people. But also I remember the parties. And um, yeah, it's... Uh, the parties have actually led to uh, some short-term memory loss, which uh, Tonkin may be able to tell you about. Yeah, I'm, I'm starting to bring back a little bit of memory now as he's starting to talk now. But uh, I think uh, uh, one, of, one of my highlights was uh, an actual golf day, uh, and it was back in 1998, I believe. And uh, it was at the Capricornia, um, Capricornia Golf Course. We organised a day where we went out to... Uh, to play golf for the day and we all dressed up in very, very... I remember uh, that day. Yeah. <laughs> I dressed up as a woman that day. That was terrible that day. <laughs> and I, I, I think... I think I did it too, George, yes. <laughs> anyway, we went out, but I actually wasn't playing. I was actually uh, the, the person in the uh, the beer cart 
Oh, and, really? uh, and going around, and I, I delivered all the beers to all the uh, the players, oh, and, and doing the um, you know, the serviceable thing that I am, and, and, and mm -hmm. I still have a very serviceable man right yeah. now, actually. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, very but, uh, industrial fellow. But uh, whilst I was, I was drinking at the at the time as well, yep, and yep. Um, yeah, in the end, I think it was about the ninth hole, and I had to uh, drive the golf buggy through some sort of. Uh, road and I ended up driving it into a creek. And how would that go <laughs> now given your current profession, Matt? <laughs> Mate, we won't talk about that and uh, <laughs> we won't tell us what this profession Matthew's is. Matthew's a police no. officer. <laughs> <laughs>